Can I get a tattoo? Yep, you've got to schedule a consultation, and drop a deposit, and then we can get it going. Never mind, too broke. <laughs> yeah, it sucks being alone. Sorry to hear. Let me know when you're ready to get tattooed. Will you hook it up? I don't work for free. I do. And that's why you're broke. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my dead channel. I am here. I am bored. So I am right on the Instagram page called How to Not Get Tattooed. And it makes me cry. It makes me laugh. It makes me cringe. A nice, juicy combination of all three. And it just shows how ignorant people can be about not only the tattoo industry, but just art as a whole. People asking for tattoos to be done for cheap, copied uh, off of someone else's design. And you almost feel bad for these people. At the end of the day, humanity is humanity. So let's just get into the meat of this, shall we? So, uh, for this one, I really, really hope that it's a joke. You know, we've got all this weed, smoke weed, 420 doodles. Oh god, that's street talk for marijuana. That are apparently flash sheets that someone wants to do on people for free. But let's see what the description has to say. Let's see if this person can, uh, sell me on their flash designs. Doing a tat flash special for my 30th birthday Friday. Get one of these unique and interesting pokes from me for free as long as I'm up enough. Ayo! Must be comfortable sharing needles and having ash ceremoniously rubbed in your fresh wound. Hit me up and feel free to Venmo me so I can fly high and never come down. What? I don't even think this guy is smoking weed in this post. I think he's on some next level shit, okay? Like, <laughs> I don't even- like, you've got Somki weed over here. 24, 7, 365 days a year, 420 and 69 because, you know, <laughs> 69! <laughs> But, uh, yeah, this looks so over the top, like, I really hope that it's a joke. But I gotta give credit where credit is due, the little 420 there, the script is nice. I wanna do this on my chest instead. Hey man, cancel that appointment. I'm gonna have my buddy do this tattoo. I don't know about you, but, uh, I think that in order to cancel an appointment, you have to have one in the first place. Like, not to be rude or anything, but, uh, you can't just book an appointment by, you know, messaging a tattoo artist on Facebook, just a picture of something random that you want, and suddenly you think that they're just... That's the sound of a tattoo artist looking in an appointment. But yeah, uh, those sort of things require a little more of a human interaction, and to be fair, I'm not very good at that either. Your tattoos are inspiring! That's what I have planned. I can't grill the guy too hard. Like, he's putting in the effort and taking the initiative to try and put his ideas on paper, and that can really be hard sometimes, even for a professional. But this guy clearly has a lot of ideas going on here, and in terms of his actual artistic capabilities, there can be something to be said about that. But, I don't know. There is a lot more uh, evilness and much more intense stupidity that is portrayed on this Instagram page, so if anything, it's cute, but yeah. Uh, this guy's got a lot of ink to be done, and uh, quite frankly, he's probably gonna need quite a bit of help. Looking to get some ink done but don't want to pay shop prices? <laughs> Come to me, I'll work with you for any pice you want done. I've been doing tattoos for six months now, and I'm confident enough in myself and my artistic abilities <laughs> to start doing it for real. I've done a total of 27 tattoos, and not a single one has become infected because I'm- <laughs> I like that the standard are that, like, his tattoos won't kill you. Like, that's a selling point. Anyways, I'm completely sterile with my tools and environment. Every customer I've had is left happy with their new bodily artwork, and I I haven't had a complaint yet. Probably because they're dead. This is, uh, this is the kind of art we're talking about here. Clearly, this person has no idea what the hell he's doing. And I really wish I could look at these other pieces under here in fuller detail. If a tattoo artist's main selling point is that their tattoo won't necessarily kill you, which I honestly don't think that's 100% the truth in this situation, um, then yeah, you might as well just go seek someone else. Honestly, it's totally worth just going the full price. You're having this for the rest of your life. Please keep in mind that art is work. Tattoo artists work hard to get to the point that they're at, that they're able to work in a licensed shop and be able to bestow upon other human beings wonderful works of art that are going to be worn on their skin for the rest of their life. Also, it never hurts to do a little bit of research prior to getting a tattoo to know 
what your local tattoo artist specializes in, and if there is a need to travel further away from your hometown in order to get something that you really really want in the way you really really want it, then you gotta do that. But I'm gonna call it a night right now. The sunset is beautiful. I wanna go out, take a picture of it, take a couple of selfies because I'm a basic bitch. So thanks for watching and uh, my channel is still dead. Don't think that I'm gonna be uploading at all, but this was just fun. I was just bored this evening, so thank you for spending some time with me. And as always, peace on out.